Here we have a question. In this question, we have to find the moment of inertia of this given combination through some axes which are given to us. So first of all, let's understand what is moment of inertia. The moment of inertia is a measure of how resistance an object is to change in its rotational motion. So we can say that for a point mass at a distance r from its center. So let's suppose this is the mass m and its distance from the center where we are calculating the moment of inertia about the axis is at a distance r. So we can write the moment of inertia of this ball of mass m that would be equal to mr square. And for rod which is having length l and we are going to calculate moment of inertia about an axis which is perpendicular to the length of the rod but passing through the center that is m l square divided by 12 and for rod when we are calculating the moment of inertia about its one end but perpendicular to the length that is m l square divided by 3. So here as per the given question there are two small balls glued at the end as you can see here and the total length of the bar is 2 meter and the, mass is, and the mass of the bar is 4 kg while the balls each having mass of 0 0.300 kg can be treated as point masses. So we can say that they doesn't have any radius about the, through their center. Now let's find the moment of inertia perpendicular to the bar through its center. So here as we discussed the moment of inertia of the bar itself perpendicular to its center is ml square by 12. Now, what would be the moment of inertia of these point masses from its center? So let's take for one example, let's find the moment of inertia of this ball and after that we'll double it and find the moment of inertia of these two balls. So we can write that the mass m is given to us and this distance would be l divided by 2. So the moment of inertia of this mass m would be m l divided by 2 into whole square as we can see here. Now if you multiply it with 2 we can find the value of I2 that comes out to be ml square divided by 2. Now the total moment of inertia would be I1 plus I2. So from here we can calculate I net in the form of capital M and small m. Now let's substitute the value of capital M and small m and find the value of I net that comes out to be 1.93 kg meter square. Therefore the moment of inertia of the combination of bar and two balls about an axis perpendicular to the bar through its center is 1.93 kg meter square about this axis. Now in the second question we have to find the moment of inertia of the combination of the given figure about an axis parallel to bar through one of the ball means we have to find moment of inertia either through this axis or either through this axis. So let's consider we will calculate moment of inertia about this axis. So here the moment of inertia of the rod about its one end would be ml square divided by 3 and of this mass would be m l square. So as we know this mass is this mass is point mass so we can consider that its moment of inertia would be zero because its distance from the center is zero. So we can add this ml square and ml square by 3 and find the total moment of inertia of the given system. So as we know the value of i1 which is ml square divided by 3 and value of i2 which is ml square. So from here we can find the equation in capital M and small m. Now as we substitute the values we can find the value of i net that comes out to be 6.53 kg meter square. Hence we can say that the moment of inertia of the combination of the of about an axis perpendicular to the bar through one of the ball is 6.53 kg meter square. Now let's move forward in this question we have to find the moment of inertia of the combination about an axis parallel to the bar but passing through the both balls. So axis perpendicular parallel to the bar but passing through the both balls is only one and that would be this. Now as we know the moment of inertia is directly depending on the distance of the mass from its center. But as we know here the value of mass is distance from the center is zero. So we can say that 
the moment of inertia in this condition would be calculated as zero as you can see here so we can say that the moment of inertia of the combination about an axis parallel to the length but passing through the two balls it is zero because the distance of mass from the center is zero now let's move forward here in this question we have to find the moment of inertia of the combination about an axis parallel to the bar but 500 0 0.500 0 meter apart from it means we have to calculate moment of inertia at this axis so here we can see that we can consider the rod as point mass because the total distance is constant from its center and as we know these balls are point masses as it is given in the question so we can write the total moment of inertia as total mass which is m plus 2m into this distance this is 0 0.500 meter let's consider it as l dash so l dash whole square we can write the total moment of inertia or we can separately find the moment of inertia of the rod and separately find the moment of inertia of the balls and add them and that would be equal to the same value of this so here as per the given question we are taking the moment of inertia of the rod separately which is mr square where the value of r is known to us which is 0 0.500 meter and the moment of inertia of these two balls it would be mr square plus mr square so from here as we substitute the value of m small m and m and r we can find the total moment of inertia that comes out to be 1.15 kg meter square therefore the moment of inertia of the combination about an axis parallel to the bar but at a distance of 0 0.500 meter is 1.15 kg meter square thank you